Dave Bricker here and here's a tutorial on how to publish your flash site. Good news is this is really easy. I'm going to show you the super easy but somewhat limited way first and then a pretty easy and a lot less limited way second. Um, in order to publish this flash movie onto the web I'm going to need an index.html page that is going to load up my multiple galleries page so I need to create the HTML that's going to display my flash site in the browser all I need to do here is open up my main movie simple gallery multiple galleries this is the one I used from the last tutorial and then I'm going to go to publish settings unfortunately this whole window window won't fit in my video but I should be able to get most of it here for you the only thing we're missing is on the bottom there are three buttons publish cancel and OK so I'll narrate those for you first thing I'm gonna do is go to formats my flash file the name of it I can leave whatever the default is it's the name of your file .swf the one that's created here um, then I have an index.html page. I can name this whatever I want, but the first page on a site is always index. The second tab is Flash. Since this is an ActionScript 3 project, I'm going to make it backwards compatible to Flash Player 9. In other words, anybody with a Flash Player earlier than 9 needs to be notified that their Flash Player is too old to see ActionScript 3 content. I do want to compress my movie, keep it small, and the option to include hidden layers has to do with any layers I might have hidden while I was working. If I left some of those hidden by accident, it's nice to just turn those on anyway. The rest I'm not going to worry about. Um, let's go to the HTML options. Um, I'm going to leave this on Flash only. I want to detect the Flash version the minimal version that is able to view ActionScript 3 content. My dimensions, I can choose match movie. That's typically, if I wanted to specify different percentage or different number of pixels, I could. But pretty much the easiest way to do this is to, is to design your stage at the size that you want your movie and then export it there. Since I have a stop action on my first frame, loop doesn't really matter. And the display menu option, I'm going to leave checked. That allows you to right click or control click on the Flash movie and get the various zoom in and zoom out and stop and play commands that you get. If you don't want those, you can untick that box. I'll leave the quality set to high. Show warning messages simply means if there's a problem on export, I'm going to get that. Now there are three buttons below the screen that I'm unable to display on the video. They say publish, cancel, and OK. If I hit the publish button, um, it's going to publish my movie. What I'm going to do instead is click the OK button here to OK the settings just because that button's not on the screen and show you that once those settings are set, I can always hit publish. And you'll see here that it is going to publish the movie. It's now generating the rating the SWL again file again. The end of that title is off your screen. Here it is, and it created an index.html file. So if I move this here, you can see that. And if I double click this and load this up into the browser, here it is, and it's going to display my flash file file you can see it's loading the index.html and I can go to gallery 1 or gallery 2 and lo and behold my movie is published. The limitation is that this is stuck up in the upper left hand corner and I think I can do better than that. I'm going to show you a way to finesse this just a little bit. The only thing I'm going to do is get rid of this index index.h file, leave everything else the same and what I'm going to do is, to do is go into ver I'm going to create a new H file. Let me move this so that you can see the whole thing. Create. Here's my HTML file. I'm going to go to design mode because this can all be done without coding. And I'm going to save this as, that's right, you guessed it, index.html, and I'm going to save it right into that multiple galleries folder where I deleted the first one that was generated by Flash. 
Now the only difference here is I'm going to go to my page properties and I think what I'm going to do just to illustrate how this works is I'm going to give this a gray background color. You could of course browse for a background image and then I'm going to set my margins to be 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's hit OK and my page should fill in it's a gray page with nothing on it. I'm going to set the title to be My Portfolio. You'll probably use something with your name. Remember that titles are picked up by search engines. Let's save this. Untitled Document is a really bad name for your website, just as a matter of style. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to drag and drop my SWF file straight into the middle and what's going to happen is Dreamweaver CS4 is smart enough to recognize that that's a flash file. I'm just going to call it portfolio or flash, give it some sort of name. Doesn't really matter for our purposes. And here it is. Let me bring this back up on the screen and you can see that it's up in the upper left hand corner. What I'm going to do is simply drag across and select this. I'm going to say format from the format menu, align center it's off to the right of the video because my Dreamweaver screen is much wider. Let me see if I can get this on the screen so that you can see it in scale. And it should render this to the screen the way it should be. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of, couple of shifts, a couple of line breaks on top of this and then I'm going to save this. Now when I save this movie it's going to give me this alert box to copy dependent files. There's a JavaScript and also an express install SWF file um, that are used to um, put the flash in. What express install does is if somebody encounters your site and they have an older version of the flash player it'll try to install it automatically and swobjectmodified.javascript is the JavaScript that actually loads the flash or displays the alternate content. And if we test this in now I'm gonna go ahead and preview in Firefox As here is the flash coming up our gray background should load and there it is right in the middle everything should be working let's test our buttons now we've got our HTML done the last thing that's nice with this is if I do go into the code mode there's enough code here which is alternate content that people will see will see if they don't have flash or they don't have a uh, current version of Flash and you can see that right here um, it's even commented it says the browser displays the following alternative content for users users with Flash Player 6 or older um, so if they don't have Flash at all or they have a very old version of Flash where we can't automatically update them with the express install. You can put whatever you want there. You can leave this. You can put an image there. It has the go get flash player button that downloads automatically from Adobe if it's needed, but you can feel free to put whatever alternate content you want in there to run in there to warn people have flash. That's it. You'll notice now in the folder that I have my index.html file. I have my scripts folder that I'm also going to be uploading to the server and everything else is here and that's it for this particular tutorial. Next we'll talk about how to actually get this online and work.